So next, coming to the second category of uh, polysaccharide, that is heteropolysaccharides. Heteropolysaccharides, otherwise known as mucopolysaccharides. Why? Because these heteropolysaccharides are mucus in nature. Okay, heteropolysaccharides are mucus in nature, right? And they are very very important for structural aspects. Okay, these mucopolysaccharides are very very important for structural aspects. Okay, and they comes under category hetero. That means they are not polymer of glucose. In their structure, they do have glucose, they do have fructose, they do have mannose, they do have galactose. That means modified sugars. Okay. As I told you in the derivatives of sugars, glucose, when you attach an amino group to the glucose, it will form glucosamine. Okay. If you add amino group to fructose, it form fructosamine. Okay. If you add amino group to mannose, it form mannosamine. If you add amino group to galactose, galactosamine. So this type of modified sugars present in these heteropolysaccharides. Okay. And maybe acid forms also, glucuronic acid may be there. Okay. Right, so uh, that's why as they carry like uh, mucus in nature and they are uh, modified sugars, they are otherwise known as glycosaminoglycons. So other than carbohydrate, other substances are attached to this like phosphate, sulfate, amino, right. So that's why they are known as glycosaminoglycons, okay. So these amino groups may be acetylated, sulfated, okay, and sometimes carboxyl groups may be attached in their structure right and attachment of these sulfate and carboxylic groups which aids the acidity of the molecules right and they are charged okay and some of them found in combination with proteins which forms mucoproteins or mucoids or proteoglycons okay which are uh, greater importance in uh, clinical part proteoglycons okay and in mucopolysaccharides okay or in like uh, proteoglycons you can see here uh, proteoglycons, the name itself indicates, though protein name coming first, <laughs> their concentration is limited, okay, compared to the carbohydrate. So, it is reversed in case of glycoproteins, okay, in proteoglycons, the concentration of carbohydrate is more compared to the protein, but in case of glycoproteins, the concentration of protein is more and concentration of carbohydrate is less. So, mucopolysaccharides as I discussed, as we have explained in the earlier slide, okay, which are essential components of tissue structure, okay, they are essential components of tissue structure. So, wherein all the name itself suggesting muco, that means wherever the tissues are mucus in nature, okay. So, those all tissue structures made up of uh, by this uh, mucopolysaccharides or heteropolysaccharides. Like extracellular spaces of tissues, like connective tissue, okay, cartilage of bone, skin, blood vessels, tendons, all these are mucus in nature, okay, and they are all made up of by these mucopolysaccharides, okay, especially where these tendons, cartilages are there like collagen, elastin fibers, okay, all these are embedded and make as a ground substance, okay, and this ground substance where like all these collagen and elastin, elastin fibers are embedded, right, that is purely made by glycosaminoglycons or mucopolysaccharides, okay. The main important mucopolysaccharides that we should learn are hyaluronic acid, chondritin 4 sulfate, heparin, dermatin sulfate, and keratin sulfate. So, we will see the location of these GACs. Okay, heteropolysaccharides or mucopolysaccharides or GACs. In exams, they may ask you like uh, any one form of uh, this one name. Okay. GAC, sometimes they will ask GAC, sometimes they will ask heteropolysaccharides, sometimes they will ask mucopolysaccharides, right? You should be strict that names are different, but the types of uh, heteropolysaccharides are same, okay? So, coming to the hyaluronic acid, the composition of hyaluronic acid, okay, it is made up of deglucuronic acid. You know what is glucuronic acid? When glucose undergoes oxidation, okay, the penultimate carbon, Okay, the last CH2OH undergoes oxidation to form COOH that is known as glucuronic acid, right? That glucuronic acid combines with the modified sugar that is N-acetyl glucosamine. When amino group attached to the glucose which is acetylated and the second carbon, okay? This N-acetyl glucosamine and glucuronic acid forms the hyaluronic acid and where this 
hyaluronic acid uh, exist okay, that means tissue distribution connective tissues do require hyaluronic acid synovial fluids and vitreous of humor see why our uh, always lubricated okay our eye right because of hyaluronic acid that luscious because of hyaluronic acid right connective tissue synovial fluid synovial joint okay synovial joints what are the functions so the main function of hyaluronic acid to be present over there in synovial fluid or connective tissue it acts as a lubricant so this synovial fluid present in our joints knee joints so whenever we jump from first floor or second floor somewhat okay okay we will not die but a few persons may get uh, hurt few may not depends on their strength of their joints knee joints right so and this shocking proof ability provided by hyaluronic acid which is present in the synovial fluid okay so that's why it is acting as a lubricant as a shock absorber and it promotes the wound healing okay these are all the functions of hyaluronic acid next coming to the second uh, hydropolysaccharide to discuss about chondroitin sulfate and the composition is same glucuronic acid and the second one is extra sulfate group n acetyl glucosamine four sulfate amino group is uh, acetylated second carbon of glucose okay and sulfate group is in the fourth carbon okay and where and all it is present the tissue distribution cartilage bone skin blood vessels right cartilage bone blood vessels all these are there and the main function is shape of the tissues its structure and shape will be maintained by chondroitin sulfate next is heparin we are all aware heparin anticoagulant okay so the composition is d glucuronate 2 sulfate and sulfo glucosamine 6 sulfate okay d glucuronate 2 sulfate and n sulfo glucosamine 6 sulfate where and all it present the tissue distribution blood lung liver kidney and spleen okay so the main function is anticoagulant function heparin okay it prevents the clottings in the uh, circulation of uh, okay blood and dermatan sulfate which is uh, like uh, composition is hyaluronic acid plus n acetyl galactosamine okay here there is no glucosamine but galactosamine okay galactosamine which is sulfated okay same it is also present in blood vessel form uh, blood vessels walls heart walls skin okay and it maintains the shape of the tissues and the last one keratin sulfate which is made up of galactose and n acetyl glucosamine 6 sulfate it is also present in cartilage cornea connective tissues okay it keeps cornea transparent okay the main function of keratin sulfate is it keeps cornea transparent okay so all these are the important heteropolysaccharides okay with their biological function and tissue distribution okay so that's all about heteropolysaccharides okay and the end of the carbohydrate chemistry thank you